Welcome to DataBuild's audio visual instruction. This session describes the bank reconciliation basics. From the main toolbar, go into Banks and then click the Bank Reconciliation module icon. The Bank Reconciliation screen appears. The left side of the screen contains the bank statement details. The system's unreconciled withdrawals appear at the top right hand side of the screen and the unreconciled deposits appear at the bottom right hand side of the screen. Notice here on the left in the bank statement column there are no entries. The dates are displayed at the top and the opening and closing balance should be the same when they are no statement line entries. Assuming you have your paper bank statement you can transpose the figures into your data build system. Begin by entering in the statement lines. Click the add a new statement line icon. From your paper statement enter the details, the date, the reference, statement, the reference, hit enter. Note the system has prompted a value. That is because the auto prompt amount is selected. As soon as you enter a reference, the system checks to see if that reference exists and if so, prompts the amount to help speed up the process. Enter the next transaction from your paper statement and so on until you have entered everything that is on the paper statement. For this exercise, my statement has five entries. Here's my next reference, prompts a value. Now the system enters the new items in in date order. That's why it seems to have skipped a line, but I'll put my reference in here. Hit enter, prompts a value. I'll just click on that line, hit new, put in my reference, hit enter, prompts a value, new again, edit the date, type in a reference, Hit enter. It doesn't find a value, so I look on my paper statement and type the value in that's on there. When done, select all the transactions in the three tables by clicking into the table and using the blue and white select all icon. Then click the binocular search icon and the system will tick any matching transactions. If there are any left unticked on the statement lines, you need to check them off manually. For example, this EFT payment on the statement line is made up of a number of our withdrawals. Select the relevant transactions and click the reconcile icon. Note the values must be the same at the bottom of the screen here for the system to reconcile. They're not the same. So I have to go and have a bit of a look. Hang on a minute. Uh huh. There's one hiding up there. Now I check my values and they're the same. When all the transactions on the statement line are ticked and the closing balance matches the closing figure on your paper statement, click the report icon. Check the report and make sure there is a zero discrepancy. Zero discrepancy. Print the report for future reference or save the report to a file. Make sure you save the reports because if a bank rec discrepancy ever appears, you'll need these reports for problem solving reference. Once the reports are completed, click the clear reconciled statement lines icon. This clears all the statement line and copies the closing balance figure into the opening balance in preparation for the next bank rec. That's the most basic method of processing bank reconciliation. Check the support AVI importing bank statements to help speed up the process. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.